What's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. It's 8.30. I'm checking in again. This is my third my third live today, fourth live today. Uh, real quick, I'm at my uh, my daughter's school picking my baby girl up from dance, from dance practice. She's on the dance team, and I don't care how strong she gets, how old she gets, uh, how many times she get dumbbell pressed, 50-pound dumbbells. She's still my baby girl, so I'm going to call her that till she's married. Um... But real quick, so I'm getting ready to go down to uh, SoCal again in about a, in about ten days to do some more speaker training, right? Get get my uh, getting refined and getting my my coaching and my speaking, so I can branch out and do more of that. And I'm working on my my story that I have to present and work through, and I'm scared. I'm like I'm panicking. Hey Peter, I'm panicking about it, and I'm and I'm getting nervous. And I'm getting that feeling that many of us get, right? When we get down the road a ways in our journey toward our goal, right? Yesterday, I talked about the miles in the middle and it's it's very similar. So I, I'm reminded, I did a story about a year ago talking about when I was young, there was this high dive at my, at my local pool when I was growing up. And it was a rite of passage for kids, you know, as you got, you know, 12, 13, 14 years old, if you could go in the high dive and jump off. And you weren't a big kid really until you could do that. And I remember several summers in a row, climbing halfway up, coming down, and climbing halfway up and coming down. And and being convinced when I when I started up the ladder, I could do it, but then backing out on myself. And then being mad at myself for like days for not going through on what I thought I could do. And that's kind of how we do with our dreams and our passions. Right, we start out and we're, we're excited about it and enthusiastic about it, but then it gets scary, right? As, as anything worth dreaming about should. If it's worth dreaming about, it's big enough, it should scare you a little bit, right? And so we get nervous and we get scared and oftentimes we bail on ourselves. My speaking coach and mentor, Boeson calls it bailing on yourself when you're speaking. You kind of you have these these quarks that let you off the hook and let you out of that discomfort you're feeling. And that's what I'm going through right now, right? I'm like, man, should I be doing this? Uh, is it worth it? You know, I'm too old to start to start something new. <clears throat> All these thoughts go through my head. What's up, Legata? All these thoughts go through my head. You know about 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 greatness, about being afraid of reaching. And just like that that pool when I was young, you get halfway up the ladder and you want to come back down because you're afraid. And what you find oftentimes is that although it's, a, it's scary, the dive is never as scary as you thought it was. Right? Once you jump and once you land in the pool, it's never as, as scary nor as painful as you thought it was. But it's that, it's that walk up the ladder that makes you panic. And that's with everything in our life. New careers, new jobs, new adventures, new goals, new relationships. Uh, these things make us want to turn around and go back. And the problem is most of us go back. Most of us go down that journey a little bit and turn around and go back. And the ones who have the audacity, I call it, of success are the ones that say, you know what, I don't care how scary it is. I don't care how bad I look. I don't care if I fall. I don't care if it hurts. If I go up this ladder, I'm not coming back down. The only way I'm coming down is off the diving board. And the ones who do it have the same fear we have, but they go and they fight through it and they, and they don't look back. And they have people at the bottom of the ladder saying, no, take your ass up the ladder. We got you. You can do it. No, no, don't come back down. I don't care how scared you are. Take your ass up the ladder. And so I'm, I'm thankful I have people around me who continue to push me and say, look, you can do this, you know. And God, sends, God is great. God sends me messages all the time from people randomly. Like, Bobby, your message yesterday resonated. You know, that talk you did made me feel better. Got a guy who saw me in my gym and said he's been following me on Instagram and I've changed his life. So... I'm scared to go down to LA and do some more training. Every step along the way, I get closer and closer to my, you know, to this new passion. It gets scarier and scarier. But I ain't coming down from the ladder, guys. Right? 
I'm, I'm, I'm diving off this, this, this diving board and I'm landing in greatness. And I hope you guys are doing the same thing in your lives, <clears throat> that you ain't done living life, that you haven't just relegated your life to the regular diving board, that you still are willing to climb that ladder, you know, on occasion and risk something to be great. All right, guys. So even though it's scary, um, you know, trying new things, trying to be great, trying to get all you can out of life before you die, even though it's scary, I want you guys to keep pushing and keep driving and keep trying to be a little bit better every single day, right? And 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 at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, when you when you leave this earth, I want you to make sure that you've given all you can give and you've taken all you can out of yourself that God gave you um, and used up everything that he gave you, right? Because that would be a disgrace if you left this earth and, and were not the best version of you that you could be. All right, guys, so uh, wish me luck. Uh, I'll leave in about 10 days. I'll be talking to you guys before that. Uh, but I'm, I'm pushing to be great, guys, and I hope you guys are too. All right, love you guys. Bye.